I, so this is just a little routine, uh, a lunchtime or a short routine or pre-meal routine that you can do standing up. So if you're at work and you can't lie on the mat or you can't put your yoga clothes on, we'll just have a little routine that can still move the energy, tighten your digestion and just help you out a little bit. Okay, so the first one you're familiar with, we just open the chest, breath in and just pounding just to get a little bit of vitality into your body into the lungs and breathe out and again big breath in hold the breath and just pounding just a little bit of a warm-up the second one your legs are wide probably wider than your hips and the toes are pointing forward we interlace our fingers invert the palms breathe in and exhale stretch up try to squeeze your belly make sure that your bum is not sticking out as you do that you're pulling your tailbone under. Inhale and exhale, we go towards one o'clock. Then inhale and exhale down towards three o'clock. Then breathe in and exhale down to five o'clock, but do your best to look forward between your arms. Inhale, exhale down to six, look down between your legs. Exhale down to seven, looking forward, try to twist and look at the camera. Inhale, exhale, nine o'clock. Inhale, exhale, 11 o'clock. And exhaling all the way back. Let's go the other way, just a little bit quicker. Breathe in and exhale, 11, nine. Look forward all the time. Seven, six, five, look forward. Three, two, and one. Excellent. Now we spread the legs way wider, way wider. Ideally, you can still take your shoes off wherever you are, even if you're not in yoga clothes and you have some resistance with your mat. Turn your right, right foot along the mat. Left foot is perpendicular, even slightly turn in. Arms are level, breathe in and exhale. Just drop one hand down onto your shin bone and turn, try and keep the neck. Don't let the head drop, keep it long long with your spine try and pull your left shoulder forward backwards as if you had an imaginary wall and drop your left arm now make it a little bit stronger by stretching the main thing is don't let your front shoulder go forward just so you can go lower make sure that you're keeping your left shoulder back when you can go lower that is absolutely fine but keep your left hip and left shoulder back then we swap over, we go to the other side, breathe in, exhale down towards the shin. Start with your fingertips pointing up to the ceiling and looking forward. Make sure that your right shoulder is behind you, pulling back towards the imaginary wall and then drop your right arm down. And then gently, gently back, perfect. Our next one is going to be a strong one for the stomach and it will help lift our stomach organ up. So just have a look with our feet. Our feet are going to be turned in about hip width apart, but feet are turning in and the hands are going to be clasped strongly. So the whole move is toes are turned in, toes are turned in. We extend our arms as much as we can, try and get the wrist to touch, look forward, breathe in, and on the exhale, we squeeze the knees together, breathe them together, and lift the arms as high as you can, chin towards you, look forward, and inhale back. Let's do it from the front again, so you can see from the front. Turn the big toes in. We clasp the hands, wrist together as much as you can. Inhale, exhale, bend and squeeze the knees. Tailbone forward, lift the arms as high as you can. Chin towards your throat and crown of the head up to the ceiling. Perfect, gently down, do it a couple, three times. And we finish off with squats. The squats is just gonna help really pull the energy down and help us get grounded. It's really good for our gut function. So. Spread the legs about hip width apart. 
Big breath in up and exhale gently as much as you can with a straight back, come down. Inhale up, exhale down, straight back. Inhale up, exhale down, three, four, five, six, seven, three more. Eight, nine, and ten. Excellent. And that is your little lunchtime or pre meal routine or anytime routine.